All right, so our evening adventure continues. We're at a place here called Steve's, which is called Prince of Steaks. And uh, I've heard this is legendary, so let's check it out. There is a traditional Philly steak, provolone, fried onions, french fries over there, and he's got this double hot dog crazy thing. Look at that. So we're going to dig into this, and I will let you know how this turns out. Do I look mighty high up in the air? It's because I am. Check it out. Double decker bus. What a fall over. Looking down, there's Kia Killjoy. No. Agent IQ is hiding and look. Skyscrapers. We don't really have skyscrapers in the Vegas area, so this is interesting. You know, we have four stories, we call it a skyscraper. But what we also don't have, not in any real degree, is Philly cheesesteak. So, so Steve's, we Prince of Steaks. Prince of Steaks, Steve's. That was wonderful. It was delicious. It was 16 years since I've had a really good cheesesteak. Now, you can get cheesesteaks anywhere, but it has to be made the right way to be authentic, and they, they pulled it off. I had fried onions, provolone, ketchup, lovely. Yes. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure a way we can actually get back there. <laughs> On, at some point on our trip, which I don't think it's going to happen, but we can try. Well, it's it going to be between Princess Good and Wawa. Ladies uh, and gentlemen, our tour is starting, so I'm going to go back to my seat. Now. Uh, it is 38 and a half feet high. It weighs 27 tons of iron. It was made by a Scotsman, Alexander Milne Calder, in 1901. This man is the unsung founding father of this nation. So as you saw on that video, we were with this thing called the Big Bus Tour. And so we did this tour called Philly at Night. And that was our tour guide right there and he did a phenomenal job. And um, this was a pretty cool tour. I've actually, being from this general area, I knew a little bit about the city, but that was exhaustive of everything in about a 12 mile run that we did. So if you're ever out this way, there's, uh, there's a bunch of these. See in the back of me, there's like double deckers that you can do daytime tours with stops. So you can kind of hop on and off. And the one we did was just a straight through tour. But we did stop a couple times to just see a couple quick things. But 
They have all different varieties. Key, what'd you think? Not great. I loved it. He did I a really good job. Did. Yeah. Um, you know, I grew up in South Jersey. Went to Philadelphia a lot for field trips and then like medical care and things like that growing up. And it was really fascinating to hear all the little other details that you know you miss out. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Even it. just like the William Penn, how he no building, no skyscraper could be in front of him. They all had to be behind him. Yeah. That was kind of cool. The whole even like uh, the neighborhoods being built in the street, the house, the doors were next to each other with their for neighbors, shinwans. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty wild. What'd you think, IQ? It was very good. Yeah, it was fun, huh? What was your what? favorite part? Um, mostly everything. Yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. We uh, we ran the stairs like Rocky did. I thought that was kind of cool. So. Yeah. All right, guys, so this was day one in Philadelphia. Tomorrow, we're hitting the road. We're off to Gettysburg, but most importantly, as I mentioned earlier, we've slept about six hours in the last three days. That's got to go change <laughs> in 15, 20 minute increments at a shot. So I think it's time we uh, wrap this thing up and we get to bed. I'm crossing the street, taking my life into my own hands, because that's how it is here. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, the adventure shall continue. We got another four or five days out here. Hey, look, a Wawa. Either way. All right, guys, catch you soon.